Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I Am Penge, and welcome back to Spellcaster University, and of course welcome back to the Cup of University as well. And last time out, we added a few more floors to the top of our very ramshackle, higgledy-piggledy, all over the place sort of university. So we added the lovely greenhouse just here, and it looks very, very nice. It's got lots of lovely plants and mushrooms and things in. It's got this lovely sort of very pretty kind of ornate roof type structure. And then next to it, we added our first first dark magic room. This is the demon's room where students can quickly improve their demonology skills. There's no demons in there right now. There is some kind of crazy stuff on the floor with candles and a sort of, I don't know, a symbol of some description. There's a cage. Hopefully the cage falls down upon the demons that are summoned and then there's sort of a skull. I mean that's always dubious isn't it? That's always the sign of a bad room when it's got skulls in it. So uh, yes we put that in as well and then we just sort of carried on with what we were doing previously where we got stuff done, we got more students in, we have made a little bit more progress in contacting our friend over there in the water so he wants us to get all the dragons on board because he can then contact them and use them to help against the fight of dark against darkness. So, uh, yeah, we need to get all the dragons in. Now, I think we've got three now. I think we have a green dragon, a white dragon, and a blue dragon. So we need to get another dragon in. So I think that's something we might need to look at as well. And we also do have some lovely ingredients for potions, which is very, very exciting. And we're going to come to this first. So these are the autumn shoulder guards which was an item that we picked up last time. And I um, sort of naively went, oh, I can't put these down. Because what I did was I lifted that into there and went, oh, I can't put them down. I don't know where they go. I'm not entirely sure where to place these because I was expecting a little kind of symbol to appear showing me where I could put these things. Um, but no, these don't work like that. Um, you just sort of put them on somewhere. You just drop them down, apparently, so I'm told. And, um, and then they just work forever. So as soon as a student gets Druidism and Herbarism level one, uh, then they will get the autumn shoulder guards. And I assume it just works for everybody. I assume they just apply to every single student. So uh, when somebody gets those particular things, their life gains are doubled, which sounds very, very good. So I think we just do that now. We just drop that down. And yeah, it just sort of applies itself, I don't know, liberally, <laughs> just generically to the university itself. Uh, okay, that's marvellous. Right. I wouldn't mind getting another ingredient. I'd like to do some potion shenanigans, because that sounds like a lot of fun. I want to meddle about with potions and see what horrific things we can make. And we did also have a little look down here into the uh, the Chamber of Truth. I see some people are actually coming down into the Chamber of Truth. Let's just have another little look at them and see how they get on there. <laughs> we just move time on a little bit quicker. Let's just see them come into here, because I do like this. I like the fact that they... Oh, hello. Uh, right, you're coming to chat to me again. Um, Yeah, I haven't got all the dragons yet. I've got the dragons. Hang on, wait there. I'll get some dragons. Please hold. See, I like this. I love the fact they just sort of <laughs> just yell at the thing. And then if it doesn't respond as they like, they just sort of whack it on the head with a book. But there we go. Marvellous. Right, other people are going into there. Uh, is there anything going on in the demon room? Oh, there is. Oh, some terrifying dark magic shenanigans are going on. I mean, it's got skulls. It Just the skulls coming out of your head. It just makes me a little bit sad. I don't really want students learning about skulls. Or don't come in here. <laughs> you might get trapped, Mr. Fawn. Um, okay, now what we can do is, we've got all sorts of stuff going on down here. Um, let's go and do some contact with people. And I think what we might do is, let's go and have a word with the merchants. They might be able to give us an exciting item. Although, the adventurers could give us some gold. The adventures could give us some gold. How much gold do we have at present? Hang on, pause for a second. 411. That's not very much gold. That's not a lot of gold at all. That's the big problem we're getting now. So another thing we're going to do as well, we're probably not going to build any more rooms uh, that require a teacher. So no more classrooms. We're going to try and upgrade the ones we have because all our money, I think, is going on wages of the teachers. So yeah, we'll upgrade what we've got. If there comes along a really exciting room, something that is really, really thrilling and brilliant, then yes, we'll probably get that. But if we get, say, I don't know, another dolman, we won't build another one of those, a druid room. Well, um, we'll just upgrade the one we've got, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so who do you want to make contact with then? I think if we go to here, if we talk to the adventurers, we've got enough reputation with them to get us something exciting. So we could do that. We could get some money off them as well. But down here, we can spend some money on a room. They might be able to give us something. I can't remember what the peasants give us. There's Nessie. We can go and have a little chat with Nessie. Hello, Nessie. Uh, the orcs despise us, so we won't talk to them. Uh, the undead obviously despise us. The king is on 42.01 reputation with us. Um, 
Do you know what? Let's let's go and talk to the guild people, actually. Let's go and talk to you guys first. Let's grab some gold off you. So 250 gold. That will keep us afloat for a little while. So we'll have a bit of that, thank you. Uh, that has lit up saying, hey, get a base deck card. No, 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 no. They're too expensive now. They're too expensive. We get that. That'll leave us with 161 gold, uh, which means that we can't pay the wages, and that would be bad. Uh, we have got access to three more cards however so uh, yeah we'll get three of those shortly another thing that we're now going to do as well uh, we're going to try and improve the rooms so when we can get items to put in the rooms we're going to do that because we've got quite a lot of different rooms and we've got lots of students now i want the students to be really really good at what they're learning so anything we can put in the rooms that increases their learning is going to be very very useful uh this is new students is it uh okay so Jack Parkov, how many have we got? Seven candidates. Wow. So that must be because our, um, our prestige is quite high. Um, you've got no skills in anything right now. Uh, who's got a low sort of intake? There you go. Tea leaves. Uh, you're allergic to pollen. Let's not put you in there. Ah, but you do learn arcane magic quicker. Into there with you. Passionate, resilient, pretentious and sneaky. Uh, whatever. Sneaky. Going to, going to house tea leaves. You're allergic to pollen. Um, you're resilient and athletic, my goodness. Um, okay, you can go down into House Wibbly Wobbly. You're a shadow disciple and a deaf procrastinator, but you are brilliant. You can go into light magic just to torment you because you're good at shadow magic, so I'll stick you in the light magic room. You're dumb. Now, again, I, I do feel a bit like I'm being a little bit elitist here, but but you're, you're dumb, and that reduces your learning by 40% which just isn't going to help anybody. So I'm very sorry, but you're not welcome here. Um, yeah, you're passionate. You're allergic to crustaceans, pretentious and hard worker. You can go into tea leaves and that's that sorted. Right, what do you want? Oh, no, you again. You again. We paid the tax not that long ago. So yeah, you've been here before telling us that we need to pay tax on our magic. Oh, dearie me. Um, okay, so what do we do? Uh, we lose, or oh, we lose prestige. I don't want to lose prestige. It's quite hard to get prestige. Can we pay later? We're going to pay, of course. Um, okay, fine. Let's just pay for now. Let's just pay up. Yes, there you go. And I think we did that last time. Didn't we then go to the king and ask him for some money? <laughs> I think that's what we did. Uh, right, let's get these cards then. Let's get us an arcane deck card. So we've got either a Psy Crystal. Oh, we can upgrade the Elementalist Dojo which I think has already been upgraded, possibly, or an arcane amulet. Ah, this is one of these good things. When a student has at least elementalism and portal magic at level one, he receives an arcanic amulet. Now it produces 30% more arcana mana. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, what does the Psy Crystal do? All uh, active characters in the same room receive the Chrono Boost effect, which has like a film from the early 90s, a sci-fi film, um, which increases the speed of all their activity by 25%, as well as the speeds at which their needs increase. Um, no, do you know what? I'm going to have this. I'm going to have the uh, this amulet. So we've got an amulet for arcane magic that gives them a boost when they reach a certain level. We've got the nature one with the shoulder pads of whatever it was. So, right, drop that in on there then, I assume, and it just sort of dissolves. Okay, marvellous. Uh, right, we'll get a nature card. So we can have some ivy. Okay. The room containing the ivy and adjacent rooms no longer have maintenance costs. Ooh. Oh, that's quite good. Uh, we can upgrade the dolmen, or we can get a guinea pig tower. I don't think... We can upgrade the guinea pig tower. I'm not entirely sure that we can upgrade the guinea pig tower. If we pick that, I would like that because if we can upgrade the guinea pig tower and get twice as much communication, that's going to be quite good because that means that we can get lots of lovely cards and get money and stuff. I like the idea of the ivy though. The room containing the ivy and adjacent rooms no longer have maintenance costs. That could help us save a bit of money in the long run, which might mean that we can use our communications to get nice things rather than going begging for money. Do you know what? We'll probably get the guinea pig tower at another point. We'll have some ivy, please. So, right. So this room and adjacent room. So you want to put it in the middle somewhere, ideally, I would have thought. What if we put it in the library? Put it in the library. That's then going to affect, it's going to affect the time room, a little room down here, those two rooms, and that room up there as well. Should we do that? Should we just pop that in the library? Is that what we want to do? Hang on, let's zoom in. Why could we? It didn't seem to sort of like us putting it there. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think that sounds quite good. Let's do that. Let's bung a load of ivy. I, mean, I don't know how that reduces maintenance costs, but okay. <laughs> it's just a, it's a tiny patch of ivy. 
That never happens with Ivy. That'd be up the walls and in the books in no time. Um, okay, and then we've got a light magic card. Um, so Truth Chamber, we can upgrade that. Heroes Chapel, we could upgrade that. Or a, a what? A Zarsaroth Raclette device. Oh, oh, this was the, this was the thing. This is the thing that's cropped up a few times in one of our conversation options. Uh, characters who eat in this room have a chance to generate cheese. Okay. <laughs> Right you are. A relic hidden deep inside a dungeon filled with reptilian creatures spitting fire. And it, it generates cheese. It, I mean, it looks like a little tiny grill with some cheese on the top. We're having that. We're having the cheese machine. So uh, what was it? Characters who eat in this room. Okay, so we're going to put it into one of the one of the sort of uh, eating areas. Um, okay, let's put it in this one. I just put a little cheese machine in there. <laughs> Um, ah, cheese might be one of our ingredients to put in a potion. Oh, that would be marvellous. Okay, right, there we go. Right, now we can move time on a bit. And what are we on? Spring of year 11. We've nearly got, well, I say nearly, we're looking pretty good there. 61 out of 110 students have graduated. So I think we'll get that at some point. Uh, we've not generated nearly enough alchemy mana to get that done. And that will not be complete by the time the forces of evil arrive. And they are picking up pace, the forces of evil. Um, and then an and, uh, archmage, archimage, however you pronounce it. Um, that is not done yet either. We might struggle with that. Oh, we have a message from the king. Everybody stand up, tidy room, salute and all that kind of stuff. So here comes the king. I think we have seen this before. So greetings, I need your wise magic advices to help me rule my kingdom as well as possible. The problem is the following. My people are tired, they are bored and I don't know what to do to make them regain the joy of their early youth. Any thoughts? So go and fight against the orcs. That will irritate the orcs, but we don't really care. Organise a big feast. We can do that now because we have one Parker fight. In fact, we've got a few bits of Parker fight there. So there we go. So we could do that, which means that the kingdom and the peasants like us a bit. Or just boss them and say, be happy, but that annoys the peasants. No, let's go down this one. If we can get a bonus, that's fine. And I don't think it uses any of this. No, it doesn't use any of our resources. So we just basically went, just go and, go and have a big feast with this weird mushroomy thing that we've got. Yay. Um, okay, right. So everybody's eaten some mushrooms. <laughs> People of the kingdom are now jolly. We have got some contact again. Um, let's go over to, hang on, how much money have we got? We've got 737 monies. Let's pop over to the merchants and see if they can, they can give us anything. Hello, deceitful merchants with your sinister grin. Um, okay, so. Either we can receive 25 gold, which is neither here nor there. We can either get ourselves an artifact or we can get ourselves a classroom for 200 gold. Oh, we had a little bit more than that, didn't we? We just paid out a load of wages just then. Okay, um, let's go for a new classroom. Let's spend 200 gold and get ourselves a lovely new classroom. So a card chosen among three, just so I want to try and upgrade what we've got. Um, that could be nice. That's artifacts. We're getting artifacts from these things now. So yeah, I'm very interested in new classrooms. So classroom of the light, arcana classroom, or the nature classroom. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one to get. Uh, I think the arcana one's been upgraded already, hasn't it? I don't think the nature one has been upgraded. So let's grab that. Let's just drop that in. So right, nature classroom. Oh, it has. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Now it's a really good nature classroom. It's super efficient in there. Um, what is this? Oh, some more people joining. Right, let's just chuck these into some houses. Oh dear, the teachers are a little bit cross because they've only got one coffee machine and that is not enough for the size of the teaching staff. So they want a second one, otherwise we'll go on strike. So we can tell them to just shut up. So consider yourself lucky to have at least one. That means that they go on strike. Their boredom goes up for 400 seconds. That's probably not good because they're going to get bored and wander off and not do any teaching. We'll try to buy a new one is 200 gold. We do get a coffee machine. That is a little bit risky for our gold levels, however. We're on 438. That could end up being quite expensive. Um, I don't think we can do these last two. That one is we haven't got uh, enough reputation with the orcs. I think this one here, we don't have a potions workshop. I don't think I can pick that. Do you know what? I don't want you to go on strike. So let's buy a new coffee machine. Okay, right. Where can we put this? Right, hang on. Where are the teacher rooms? One of these is a teacher room. Is that a teacher room up there? Uh, yeah, Bright Staff Refectory. Can we not put the coffee machine in there? Oh, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Where can it go? 
Where can the coffee machine go? Oh, it can go into one of these rooms. Hang on, what's that room just there? What's this room? A psychologist. Okay, do they need coffee? Teacher's active in this room. Oh, that's not going to be very good, is it? We want to put it in a room where there's going to be lots of teachers going through. But yeah, they can't, it goes into the smaller, more sort of bespoke rooms. Uh, what's that up there? What's that? That's a psychologist as well. Do you know what? The, the psychologist in that room can have a lovely pot of coffee. There we go, psychologist. Uh, we can also get another light deck card and an alchemy card. Maybe we'll get a potions workshop. I don't know. Let's get the light card. Um, oh, yes. Okay, right. So we've got one of those. So reliquary, I think you pronounce it. We've got one of those. So they learn light magic quicker and shadow magic slower. That's fine. Uh, we've got one of those, a cheese generating machine. Um, however, I don't think we have a bed of repentance. Students who sleep in this bed have a chance of losing a negative trait. And so it's essentially a bed <laughs> covered in spikes. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Let, let's let, let's get a bed of repentance. I think I slept on a bed like that when I went to a cheap hotel once. Let's put it in here somewhere because this has got all the fancy beds in. So uh, let's put it, I don't know, in that middle one. Let's put the bed of repentance in there. There you go. <laughs> Sp spiky bedtime. And um, let's do this. Let's get ourselves another alchemy card. So a runic scriptorium, I think we already have. So we could upgrade that which would make it better. A scale, potion cards played are 40% more efficient. Yeah, we've not got any potions made yet. Or another unfinished golem reduces the entire school maintenance cost by 15%. That would mean, we've already got one of those in, that with this one, school maintenance cost would be down by 30%, which sounds very, very good. But we could upgrade our runic scriptorium but I'd rather stay in business. So let's get the unfinished golem. Let's get that done. Um, where can this go? Uh, let's just pop it in there. That'll do. Uh, in fact, no, let's not put it there. It can sit here in this. Let's put it in one of these rooms where nobody's going to really use it. Is that not going to be in the way of the door? Hang on. <laughs> if we put that there, is that not going to block the door? Yeah, okay, right. I mean, it's it's made it's made sort of, uh, yes, travel through these rooms slightly less less easy. But okay, that's fine. Right, so now our maintenance costs are down. That means we're not spending quite as much money on maintenance-y stuff. So we should see some more gold, which would be very, very nice. Okay, the orcs have come by asking for food again. And this time we can actually do something positive. So we could tell them to go and eat all the peaceful villagers. That kind of annoys people, particularly the people who are being eaten. So we won't do that. We can't make waffles. We don't want to say we've got nothing to offer you because that really damages the reputation. Although I'm not too bothered. But this here, let's discuss it over a big raclette. We've got one of those Tsar Saroth raclette devices, essentially the cheese grill machine thing. So our reputation with the orcs goes up but we also receive three prestige points. That's brilliant. Okay, yes, we'll absolutely take that. And I think the machine stays there. I don't think we lose the machine or anything. So just because we've got one of those in, anytime those orcs now come knocking saying, hello, we're hungry, we just make them a lovely grilled cheese thing. And then, and then they go away and we get some prestige from that, which is brilliant. That is the perfect response. And I think we have some students that are going to graduate. <gasps> A high priest. I don't think we've seen a high priest yet. Increase the learning speed of sacred magic by 1%. And a prestige point as well. Yes, we'll take that. Um, village mage and adventurer or dead. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll have a village mage for you. Um, a priest. You could... An angel? <gasps> You've got a 42% chance of becoming an angel. Okay. Do you know what? Let's re-roll that. You become a high priest. Okay, that's that's okay. I kind of wanted you to become an angel, but there you go. Okay, accept that future. Um, a peasant, a village mage, or dead. Let's re-roll that. You've gone from being a peasant to a peasant. Norbert, <laughs> you've let the side down. Okay, um, let's re-roll this. I don't want you to be a peasant because it harms our reputation. Village mage, that'll do. Um, an adventurer gives us gold. Do you know what? I'll accept that. I'll absolutely accept that. And... You've got a chance of becoming a priest, but that would give us 200 gold. Do you know what? We'll go for 200 gold. Village mage, the options aren't very good. So yes, we'll have that. Uh, right, you're terrible. You need to be re-rolled to a village mage. Okay, um, you can go for a village mage. Oh, these this lot are all terrible. <laughs> we have people that could have become angels before. Actual angels. And then some of these people are, are, are being peasants. Um, 
Okay, well, your options are a village mage or die. So, uh, yeah, let's make you a village mage. And you, you've got this option here of midwife. Oh, you've got the, you've got the shoulder guard things. You've got the shoulder things on. Oh, that's quite exciting. Oh, good. So somebody did get them and it worked. Um, I'm tempted to re-roll this. I really want to get midwife. So at the moment, it's adventurer. We've got all of these, apart from dead. We've not had a dead student yet, although this might be the time. Um, but I kind of want to get midwife. There's a minimal chance of getting it. Let's give it a go. It's a midwife. Yes, okay. So thanks for his dedication and knowledge of plants, uh, Arya Pazenlina has become a midwife. Is, is midwifery linked to the knowledge of plants? I didn't think it was, but okay, maybe in this world. So groups of new students are, on average, plus 3% more numerous. Ah, so we get a little bit more students, uh, sort of uh, applications. Okay, that's fine. Accept that future. I think, um, where is it? There's a thing somewhere. Was it in here? Is that the list of futures? Uh, yes, there we go. Look, so, oh, we're not even anywhere near the full list. Look at that. We've got what? A quarter done, possibly? If we push them all up, we're probably to about here. So yeah, we might have a quarter-ish of all the futures available. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we've got loads to find. And we have seen a few. So we've seen Angel and we've seen a few other ones as well. We just haven't actually got anybody with them yet. So um, yeah, there you go. Look, so that's, that's quite good. That's quite good. We're getting through those slowly but surely. The only thing is the forces of evil are coming toward us at pace. Um, we can get quite a lot of extra um, extra cards in now, though, which is quite encouraging. Uh, let's start with a nature deck card. So we can either improve the stable, get some more ivy, or get a unicorn in a pot. We already have a unicorn in a pot. It's generated two unicorn horns so far, so we're okay without that. The ivy, oh well, yeah, that's it. It reduces the maintenance costs. Yeah, that's okay. I think we might get a stable. I think we'll upgrade the stable. So let's make that room a little bit better. Um, then we'll go for, oh, we've got a shadow card. Okay, let's go for a shadow card. So we can have ritual components. Active teachers in this room have a chance to generate component cards. I assume that is components that we can use in potions, I'm going to guess. Uh, a janitor room, which we already have. I suppose maybe if we upgrade it, it cleans things quicker. Or a jail. When a teacher sees a student doing something stupid, he sends him to jail. This considerably increases his discipline and encourages him to work much better. Ah, now that could be very useful indeed. Yeah, let's get us a jail. Uh, can we put the jail down? How do we get in the jail? Uh, hang on, where are the things? Well, hang on, uh, click, click that, is it that? Um, we need a door on the left or a door on the right. Okay, right, so we need another room to pop up just here, I think because we haven't got any way of accessing the jail right now. Okay, and then let's get an arcane card as well. So we can get ourselves either another guidance office. By spending some time with the guidance counsellor, a student can gain an additional choice of future. We already have one guidance office. Maybe another one wouldn't be quite so bad. A gateway between worlds <laughs> is a magic door. I think we already have a magic door in the portal room, I suspect. Um, or... One of those, a Belvedere, allows a character to observe the landscape, which greatly reduces his boredom and raises mental health. This elegant Belvedere also generates prestige. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, did we see one of those before and we turned it down? You could put a dragon in them as well. Let's have that. Let's get one of those. Um, right. We're struggling for places to put things at the moment. Right. Hang on. What do we need from this? How on earth do we place that? I don't even know how we place that thing. Even if we can place that thing. Oh, botherations. Okay, have I just invested in a card that we can never, ever, ever play? Hang on a minute. That doesn't, how, do we, how are we supposed to place this? So it needs to be above the ground. So it needs to have a space underneath it, does it? Hang on, I'm really confused by that. So that, there needs to be a doorway just here. Maybe we need something else to go up here. Oh, I'm a little bit, I'm all confused by that. Okay, right, well, never mind. So we've got two cards that we can't play. Well, there we go. Wasn't that marvellous? Okay, we've seen this sort of thing before. So a person's complained that lots of students are troublesome and unruly. I know we've got a jail kind of just waiting to go in. Please be patient. So we can either tell this person to just go away, <laughs> which does not seem the best approach. Uh, we can spend 100 arcane mana and get the mystical eye, which we already do have somewhere. We can spend 100 alchemy mana and make some enchanted chains, or we can spend four prestige points to get a pyre, which essentially means that you're going to burn the students who are troublesome. Now that seems 
seems a little bit excessive. Um, we can either have the arcane mana. We've got quite a bit of that. We seem to generate quite a lot of that. So let's do that. And then let's get ourselves the mystical eye. And let's just put that, I don't know, up there. There we go. So the mystical eye goes in. So people in this room behave better, which is all fine. That's quite good. I do like that. I like that. And you know, it's not just one eye. It's a, it's a, it's a little, it's a little vat of terrifying floaty eye things, which I do think is quite funny. Um, right. Okay. Now the orcs are coming in. Um, oh, it's not the thing where we can give them food from the cheese machine um, so we can pay them 100 gold we can turn them to clear off we can have a fight or we can spend a hundred of our alchemy mana i'm tempted to just give them 100 gold and just make them go away i don't want to spend our alchemy mana i want to keep that for alchemy rooms and upgrades and things so yes have a hundred gold uh right a load of new students coming in we need to sort these out um so yeah we did get quite a few new students coming in um, you're allergic to crustaceans, so let's just put you in there. You're brilliant and passionate as well. That is very encouraging. You can go into Wibbly Wobbly House. You're dumb. We don't want you. You're smart and chosen of the lights. You can go into there. You're okay. You can go into there. Now, you're brilliant. This is all very encouraging. There's some good students coming in now. And we can make some more contact. Now, um, just before we did this, there was another contact thing that popped up. And it said, hey, what do you want to do? So we went back to the adventurers and upped our reputation with them. So now we're on 50 with them. So if we go over here now, we can do one of these. We can either get ourselves 250 more gold or we can get a card from among three. So a nice artifact. That does, however, knock the reputation down by 20. Let's go for that, shall we? Let's get one of these. So component supplies. Active characters in this room have a chance to generate component cards, which I assume is what these are. I assume that's what these cards are down here. A big hourglass <laughs> to make them learn time magic quicker or a weapons rack. Let's go for the component supply. Let's go for that. And then can we drop that into a sort of uh, an alchemy room or whatever? Um, that's an alchemy room, isn't it? Is that alchemy in there? Um, yeah, an alchemy classroom. Absolutely. Pop that into there. And then we've got a little shelf of magical mysterious components. What is there on this shelf? Um, okay, right. A dubious skull, a little pouch of something, some leaves, some mushrooms, pestle and mortar with something in it. Oh, some shiny, pretty things. Um, some fabulous looking kind of potion bottles, which look, I mean, this one looks very impractical. In terms of storage, that's just not going to help, is it? Just make it look like these. Just store loads more on a shelf. Um, some jars, some eyes, some more jars. Um, not entirely sure what those red things are just there. Some sort of boxes or weights. And then some candles and then a variety of sort of herbs and things hanging off the bottom. Okay, well, that's quite nice. And um, we do need to get a room that can go on the top of here so we can play the jail or the belvedere because they're just sort of sitting there at the minute. We can get a light magic card. Let's grab that. Uh, ah, okay, now it's coming up with interesting choices because before, if we didn't have a hero's chapel, we'd just go, right, grab that quick. But now we have pretty much all the rooms, apart from the dark magic rooms, really. So we could upgrade the hero's chapel. We could upgrade the truth chamber, but also we could get another bed of repentance, which means that the students might lose a negative trait. I do like the idea of them not having negative traits. So let's do that. Let's get another spiky bed. Okay. Oh, look, there's somebody on the spiky bed. There's somebody sleeping on the spiky bed. Oh, lovely. And you are actually asleep. Well done. Well, do you know what? Your spiky bed can have a spiky bed friend just there. There we go. Two spiky beds now. That is marvellous. Um, yeah, we're not going to spend the money on a base deck card because that would be bad. That would leave us a little bit out of pocket. So, uh, okay, right. Move time on. Let's see where the game takes us. Oh dear, the parents are back. So a school without discipline. The parent committee has heard that discipline is an increasingly blurred concept in your school. The young have no respect for their elders these days. I hope you have taken action against this state of affairs. So we can say go away, which loses quite a bunch of prestige points. But fortunately, we have one of the two other options. This one here is, don't worry, we've got a jail. We do have a jail pending. We just haven't built it yet because we can't. But we do have this. We have one chains. So because we have one chains, our reputation with the Inquisition people goes up because, you know, they love a bit of chain action. OK. And of course, the reputation with the Lord of Evil goes up because he likes the fact that we're chaining people up because that's a kind of sinister thing to do. So, OK, we'll do that. Now, I wonder if that affects his speed of advance. If we have a better reputation with him, does that slow him down? 
because he is very much surging toward us now. That is going very quickly. I mean, it's taken quite a long time to get to about halfway. That is now on its way very, very much. Um, okay, right. New students. Oh, what, what's going on here? Hang on a minute. You've literally just come here asking about this. And yes, we've still got chains. We haven't got rid of them. Um, right. Okay. New students coming in. Uh, you can go into House Wibbly Wobbly. You're brilliant. You can go into House, uh, House Sparkles. Uh, you're brilliant. You can go into House Sparkles as well. Okay, we have some more futures to sort out. High Priest. Yes, absolutely. We've got loads. We've got loads of futures. Oh, you're just a bit rubbish, but we'll accept the gold. Um, we will accept the mana boost. Uh, right, your, your choice. <laughs> Sarah Connor. <laughs> oh, dear. The future of mankind truly is doomed because Sarah Connor has become a peasant. I know it's a Sarah O'Connor. I'm taking liberties with the O. Um, so, okay, right. So Sarah Connor has um, has not become the mother of the leader of the resistance of the rise of the robots or whatever, but she has become a peasant. So, so that's good. Um, we need to re-roll this. Um, you're a village mage. Good. You're a village mage. Good. These. Why is everyone terrible? You're a village mage. Can we know that? You're a village mage. Oh my goodness. Somebody who is not a village mage or a peasant. Yay. So Emma O'Neill has become a hero. Now, have we seen a hero before? Reduces all prestige losses by 0.5%. Oh, that's quite good. Yes, we'll absolutely accept that. And we have a little bit of contact. Um, Hang on. How much? Oh, we could go to the king. We could go to the king and ask for some money. We've got 607 monies. How about we go to the king? Hello, king. Yes, I'd like to have a chat with you. So we can either improve our reputation with him a bit more. We could say, can we have some gold? And then we lose five reputation with him. Or we could say, can we... Ah, can you go and attack the Lord of Evil? Ah, and that knocks him back by 0 0.03. Oh, should we do that? We've not done that before. So maybe we should just have a little go at that, shall we? So currently it... Hang on, let's level it up with something. Let's see if we can uh, line it up with something. So currently it is um, sort of level with the end of that thing, with the end of this sort of room, this black bit just here. So if we say, go and attack the Lord of Evil. Oh, yeah, yeah, it knocks it back a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So we uh, we just asked the king if he could go and have a little bit of a fight with the undead, and he did. Oh, that was quite obliging of him. Thank you very much, Mr. Kingman. Um, right, let's get another one of these. So, oh, look at these. Oh, we're getting all sorts of lovely things. A terrarium to increase herbarism skills. That just looks like a little sort of plant sort of trough thing. Parker fight, we've already got plenty of that. And then, yeah, horns of the forest king. When a student has at least Druidism level 3, he receives the Horns of the Forest King. From now on, his tiredness increases 75% less quick. That's very good. But that also is quite good. But that applies to everybody. So if somebody gets to Druidism level 3, they all get this amazing kind of boost. But that means that they get better at Herbarism a little bit quicker. That says slightly increases. That applies to everybody. So do you know what? Yes, let's just absorb that into the university and see how we get on. I'm a little bit concerned about the speed of which the uh, the Lord of Darkness is, is uh, approaching. He's approaching very, very quickly indeed. And in fact, he's so near that he's now going to send us some messages. So hello there, Lord of Evil. So he says, I think we've seen this one before, but he says, Good evening. As you know, the planets will soon be aligned. Are you ready to welcome the darkness? And we can do actually all three options, which is very exciting. So we can either say, no, you're lying. We've got an observatory. So we get a bit of prestige. He gets knocked back a bit and the reputation with him goes down. Don't really care about that. Um, we get some shadow mana if we just study it. Or we can go and have a bit of a fight. We do get attacked there. The reputation goes down and he gets pushed back. Well, let's use the observatory. Let's, let's do that. It gets us five prestige points. He loses some ground and a reputation with him goes down not very much. So let's do that. There we go. Yeah, that's quite good. That's quite a nice chunk of chunk of sort of ground that he's lost there. Maybe that's what we now start need to do. We need to sort of start working on maybe pushing him back a little bit. Uh, oh, hang on. We do have enough for another arcane card. Oh, yeah, let's let's grab it. Why the heck not, eh? So we can have ourselves another time hall or we can upgrade the existing one. Uh, window on another world. Or an interdimensional room. Okay, I think we've already got a window on another world. Oh, is that what we had? Oh, I thought we had a door to another world. But no, I think we had a window to another world just there, didn't we? So how about we upgrade the time hall? 
Let's grab ourselves a time hole. Let's upgrade the time hole. Let's make the clock even clockier. <laughs> it can tick louder and tell time really, really well. Um, okay, we're not too far off getting another light deck. We're a little bit... Oh, and not, not too far off from getting an alchemy card either. Oh, that's quite exciting. Everything else, though, is quite distant. And yeah, we're not going to spend money from the base deck just yet anyway. Um, okay, right, move time on. Okay, we've got more communication available. Um, going to the king isn't going to really help. We can't get much from the king. Going to the adventurers requires a couple of trips to get the reputation up to 50, so we can get something off them. Um, we could go back to the merchants again, because we do have 760 gold. So that's actually okay. I can't remember what the peasants do. We've got a full reputation with the peasants. I can't remember what they do. Do they give us a thing? I really can't remember if they give us a card or not. I really can't remember. But let's go down here for now. Let's go to the merchants. Yes, please. I'm interested in new classrooms. Let's upgrade the classrooms we've got. Uh, ah, now that is interesting. A shadow classroom has appeared and we don't have a shadow classroom. Uh, the only thing is, how does that go in? Yeah, this is a problem. Look, we need rooms that can be accessed. Oh, no, no, hang on. That can be accessed from the, the stairs at the back. Oh, yeah, we'll have a shadow classroom, please. And I think we can put that, I think, we can drag that up here. Okay, marvellous news. Okay, so we'll put a shadow classroom in. We will require a teacher, obviously. And that means we're going to have to shell out a little bit of money on wages, but that's fine. Um, okay, so... Um, right, apparently this word <laughs> a teacher told me in the comments, I believe it's perhaps pedagogy. Pedagogy? Pedagogy, maybe. But I like pedagogies. So the pedagogies are good. So that improves the learning by 10%. You're sympathetic, so they're not quite as bored. And you're a bit fighty. You've got a big belly, so you eat a bit more. And you kind of dither about a bit because you're a procrastinator. Um, your, your pedagogies are poor. Lydia Ray. So we will have Alexander Gaspode. You can join in. And then, I don't think we can play that, but I think we might be able to play the jail. So good. We now have a jail in. This is very much the dark corner of the university, isn't it? <laughs> Just got the demon summoning room, the dark magic room, and a jail. I mean, it's all quite sinister up in this corner. And then there's this lady here. There's a Linda Penalto. Oh, she's evil anyway. So she's evil. So, you know, she fits in quite nicely with this corner of the uni. So there we go. We've got kind of all the nice bits of uni and then the slightly creepy bit over there, but that's fine. Um, we can't build that here, can we? No. Okay. It was worth a little look, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure if there's a height limit. How high are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're ten floors high. I mean, is that the limit? I don't know. I do like the... Um, that kind of crazy sort of wonky spire thing telling us what the time is. It's, um, what time is it? It's uh, one, two, two and a half minutes past three. Well, there we go. <laughs> now we know. Also, we don't need very many more students to complete that objective. That would be very good. Um, okay, right. Let's move time on a little bit more just to see what happens. Let's see how near the Lord of Evil can get to us. And the orcs are back and the orcs are hungry once more and we can do this again. So reputation with the orc tribes goes up, but we get more importantly three prestige points from feeding the orcs a load of cheese. So there you go, orcs, have some cheese. That's very nice. We also can invest in a couple of cards. So let's get us a light deck card. Uh, ah, this sounds very exciting. A heroic statue. So what does the statue do? They have a small chance to get the brave trait. Okay. Weapons rack, not so bothered. That's about retribution. This thing, however, ah, this is one of the items that you just apply, is it? When a student has at least sacred level three, he receives a sacred aureole. Aureole? Aureola? Aureole. I don't know how you pronounce that word, really. I, whatever. It's, it's a halo. Essentially, it's a halo, isn't it? His hunger is increasing 75% less quickly. Okay, yeah, I quite like that. I like the ones that apply generically, you know, that just sort of absorb into the university itself. They're quite good. And uh, we've got just enough, I think, 350 for another alchemy card. 391 is what we've got. So let's get ourselves another alchemy card. Ah, a potions workshop. I'm fairly certain we don't have a potions workshop. The only thing is, where can we put a potions workshop? We should, looking at that, if we take a look at this, you can go uh, backwards into it. So you should be able to go up into it from there. So I think we might get ourselves a potions workshop. That could be quite good. An alembic sounds quite good, though. The active characters in this room have a chance to generate alcohol component cards, which alcohol is alcohol in this game. Um, so do we go for the potions workshop? 
which means that our people will be better at alchemy, we'll get more alchemy mana, or do we go for that thing? Let's go for the potions workshop. Now, the only thing is, can we play it? Yes, we can. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, right. We've got someone with excellent pedagogies or poor pedagogies. Um, you've got a big belly and you're hyperactive. You're sympathetic and you're popular. Absolutely. We'll have you, Harold Iron Fist. Very good. Welcome, Harold, to the university. Um, okay, right. I mean, it's getting very tall, this university. It's very tall and not very wide because we're on an island. But um, but okay, that's all good. So we've got ourselves a nice potions workshop in there as well. The dark corner has become slightly less dark now with the introduction of that thing. But that's all good. And some communication is available. I think we might go and talk to the peasants because I can't quite remember what the peasants can do for us. So let's go and have a chat with them. So we can either get more reputation with them, which we don't need. Um, we can either go and say hello or, ah, we can get ourselves a refectory. Okay, this is probably not the most useful of things. Yes, I couldn't remember what they did. So, um, yeah, do you know what? A refectory is no bad thing. Particularly if we can put it up there. That means students up here don't have to wander really far to go and get some food. So, okay, we'll have a refectory. Can we put that? <gasps> it can stick out. Okay, right. This could be quite good. I, mean, I don't know how exactly that works. I mean, yeah, it's a magic university. It's fine. Physics don't need to apply. So we've got another refectory here. That might mean that we can start building on the top of this thing again, which could be very, very useful indeed. If I could work out how to get this thing in, that would be marvellous. So um, yeah, let's have a quick look. Hang on, pause time. How does it work again? So you have to have a door on the side. Um, I, I really don't understand the placement of this. I don't get it. It's, do we have to have a room just here and then it slots over the top? Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Well, I'm sure it'll, I'm sure, you know what, we'll, we'll place enough buildings and we'll keep trying to put that down enough times that at some point it will just slot into place. Unless the forces of evil come and murder us first, of course. And with the threat of being murdered by the forces of darkness still fresh in our minds, I think what we'll do is we shall finish up for now because we have actually done quite a lot. We've got ourselves quite a few extra bits up here. We've added quite a lot of stuff to the rooms. We've got lots of cards, built a reputation with people. We've seen some new futures. We've got heroes and midwives and high priests and all that kind of stuff. We don't need many more students to graduate in order to complete this little goal thing just here. I don't know what that will get us. But hopefully it will be very exciting. The forces of darkness are closing in though so I suspect in the next part because they've come from what about here have they where this sort of undead kind of horse thing is so I think they've made it to there I think in the next part they will reach us I think in the next part the forces of evil will reach us at our university and then I don't really know what happens I'm not entirely sure what the drill is then do they attack and we have to fight them off I don't know. But you know what? We will find out next time because we shall finish things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in Spellcaster University. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This is never going to end well if it's just me having to use my own wits and skill to survive. Beer! Drink! Can I just get leathered? That'll make me warm. Yes, like a drunk man trying to find his way to the bar. I don't know what I'm doing. I can play darts. 340! You've took on my monster munch. Where's all the monster munch?